Hello and welcome to um, another maths video looking at graphs. Um, this time what we're looking to do is we're trying to figure out um, what the equation of the graph is um, based on some um, features about it, namely the gradient and the y-intercept. Now in the last video um, we were looking at um, drawing a graph based on the equation. So we had something like y equals uh, and then y equals m x plus c where m and c were just numbers so for example I think um, in the last video, one of the last videos we had um, y equals say 3x plus 2 um, now what we're trying to do in this video is we're trying to figure out um, what the equation of um, the graph is uh, based on the gradient and the y-intercept um, so let's uh, go about doing this. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about these two words down the bottom. The gradient, this word here, simply means how steep the graph is. And um, the y-intercept, the y-intercept is just where is it crossing the y-axis. Um, now, let's uh, tackle the gradient first. Now, in order to look at the gradient, a nice thing to do is to see how far um, are we moving along um, so sorry how far are we moving up if we move along by one okay so let's take a look at that so what we can say here what I've just drawn here is I've said that um, here we are at zero we've started at zero and we've moved across by one place on the x-axis. So we've gone from 0 and we've moved along to where 1 is. Now um, what we need to figure out to find out the gradient is how far have we moved up on the y-axis when we have moved along by one place. Well we can see here that we are beginning at 3. How far have we moved up to? We've moved up to 6. So if we are moving along by one place on the x-axis, we are moving up three places on the y-axis. So what we can say then, what we can say is that our gradient is um, three. And we might like to say that it is plus three. Um, again, let's just take a look um, and see if that's true for the next one. Um, so if we were to move along by one place on the x-axis again, so this time going from 1 along to 2, how far up do we move on the y-axis? Again, we can see um, that if we move along by one place, we are going up by 3. So what we'd say is our gradient is plus 3. Um, now our y-intercept, our y-intercept is simply where the y, uh, sorry, where the graph cuts the y-axis. So we can see here that the y-axis is the one that um, goes up and down, so the vertical axis, and we can see that um, the y-axis um, is being cut by the graph at three. Oh, let's change the color of the pen. So it's being, um, it's at three. Now what we can say then is that our graph, um, the equation for our graph is y equals 3x plus 3. Now um, this 3 is coming from our gradient, this uh, 3 here is coming from the gradient, the plus 3 is the y-intercept. Um, probably haven't chosen the best numbers there, but hopefully um, you can get, get the picture. Um, I'll just kind of label this up. So this plus 3 here is the 3 at the beginning. The y-intercept is the bit on the end. Um, OK, uh, next one. Um, let's do exactly the same thing here. So let's figure out what the gradient is for this one. Um, so again, all that we're going to do is see what happens when we move along by 1 on the x-axis. So if I go from minus 2 up to minus 1, 
How far up have I gone? Well, I haven't actually gone up this time. In this case, I'm actually moving down. How far am I moving down? Well, if I'm moving along, I'm moving along by one, and I'm at three. And I'm moving down to where one is. So what I could say is that I've actually gone down by two. Um, let's just check that is true on the next one as well. If I move along by one from minus one this time up to zero, I can see that oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, that I'm going from 1 and I'm moving down to minus 1. So again I'm moving down by 2. So what I could say is that my gradient here is minus 2. Um, now my y-intercept, my y-intercept um, as we talked about a second ago is just where is the graph cutting through the y-axis. So our y-axis is the one that goes up and down. It's cutting through at minus 1 um, and so my y-intercept is minus 1 so um, the equation of this graph here would be y equals minus 2x minus 1